All right, guys, uh, this is an easy, quick fundamental analysis method for evaluating cryptocurrency projects. So if you've ever wondered if a cryptocurrency project is strong, uh, if it's going to produce good uh, price movements in the future, all right, this will be a quick and easy way to see the different components of a project and to see how strong or weak they are in a diagram format. So these uh, first things first, this is not fundamental, uh, not investment advice. I am not an investment advisor. This is for entertainment purposes only. And this is also for my own records uh, so that I can improve my methodology. Okay, so how this works. These are different components that reflect on the price of a cryptocurrency project. Um, over time, uh, so, so how does this work? The idea behind this is that through time, the change in price will go up from the fundamentals of the project. Okay? Um, as you can see, increase in demand for the token will ultimately lead to higher prices. And so the things that affect it are these three things that affect the increase in demand for the token, such as market excitement, um, such as the services provided by the token having value. Uh, but they have to, when you see this, it means these two things have to work in, in concert in order for the contribution to happen. So the token has to be used for its services and the token has to if the token services provided goes up, these two things will work together to increase demand, okay? And after we, do, we review uh, projects such, you know, such as uh, the DAP project, which is gonna be the first project I'm gonna review, or EOS, or even ETH, we'll review these projects and rate each one of these components uh, based on a color coding, such as good, negligible or negative okay and all of the sources for the information will be provided below my reviews all right and this is a brief overview you can see services provided token is used for services uh if the token if these things if there's fees for um burning the tokens, right? That'll decrease the tokens uh, available per person. And if these things, if this exists, then these two things will contribute to it. Because, you know, if, if the services are used uh, for the token, they'll contribute to the fee burning. Uh, tokens going down per person contributes to tokens on the sell side going down, which means that the money needed to move the market goes down, low market cap also contributes to that. You can see that this is my uh, rating system for low market cap, 10 million, 100 million, or, or over 100 million. That's the crisis, uh, criteria I'm gonna use um, for evaluating whether this will be you know, rated well or not. And then you know, here's the market excitement, which leads to uh, increased for demand for token. You can see that if there's a good token distribution is going to be evaluated. You can see uh, if there's easy access to the tokens going to be evaluated, such as the amount of exchanges that it's listed on. Um, is the project easy to use? That means more people will use it, which means, you know, if there's more people using it, once again, the tokens per person will be will go down. Is there good marketing, which means awareness, which means more people using, which means less uh, tokens per person. Uh, another important side of this graph is is has to deal with like the people involved, and um, one of the things that a lot of these crypto projects are missing is whether or not voting is used. Uh, EOS is good on that, but you know we'll evaluate that as well, and such as locking up the tokens and uh, preventing uh, custodial exchange voting, which is like. Uh, exchanges voting with other people's tokens. If there's a mechanism for that, that that's a great. Uh, and so we'll evaluate that on each project as well. And ultimately, voting, protection from people who didn't buy the token and all that stuff, 
all of those contribute to whether high value individuals are being elected or are block producers. As you can tell, uh, this is going to be negative for proof of work because proof of work does not do this. Many of the tokens uh, are just controlled by uh, different groups of people, such as miners. But we'll we'll review projects uh, and leave the sources and the opinions uh, that reflect upon my ratings. And then you can see developer motivation, uh, the things that influence that, which is very important, such as developer compensation. Dash has a good compensation model, and you know we'll go over once again go over that. Um, whether there's a clear mission statement. We know in the business world that if there's not a clear mission statement, people involved will lose focus. And then uh, that's be important to long-term strategy. Like, and you know, why are we here? Why are we doing this? That's one of the most important things in the psychology. And um, many uh, successful businesses answer this question. Okay, uh, such as Tesla. You know, a lot of people don't like Tesla, but I think they would have just taken a different strategy if things were uh, different for that. But that's another story. Uh, you can see how these things go down the chain of effect. And, uh, you know, such as having high value people leads to long term strategy, which leads to um, high value upgrades. Okay. And, you know, this is very important because if you don't have high value upgrades, then you're, you know, you're becoming irrelevant. And then you can see the services provided increase and you know we we come back to ultimately price so that's how it works and we did that all right guys and if you have any uh, suggestions after reviewing this um i would love to hear suggestions and i could add those components that you think are not reflected in this diagram uh, uh, I would add, I will add good suggestions to this diagram and to the flow of what contributes to price as my evaluations get stronger. Um, yeah, I think that's everything uh, for now. All right. Look forward to doing this.